Four crisis disaster. NNPP tells Sinobu only Jonathan can save you now. Now to the news in full. The new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, has urged President Bola Tinubu to reach out to former President Kulo Jonathan for assistance in addressing the country's ongoing economic crisis. Recent reports from Niger News indicate that public outrage has erupted following significant increases in fuel prices. The NNPC retail station has raised petrol prices dramatically from 897 naira to 1,030 naira per litre in Abuja and from 868 naira to 998 naira per litre in Lagos. Other regions have experienced similar hikes. During an interview with Punch, NNPP National Secretary Deepo Olao Yoko expressed skepticism regarding the current administration's ability to resolve the nation's issue. He stated, Nothing surprises us in Nigeria anymore. This government lacks the solution needed to tackle our problems. When faced with a crisis, a government that opts for easy fixes signals a long road ahead for Nigeria. Allow Yoko criticized Sinobu's decision to remove subsidies on his first day in office without fully understanding their implication on or who was benefiting from them. He also pointed out that the administration's decision to flood the Naira while Nigeria was heavily reliant on imported fuel with prices dictated by the Naira values. This government is devoid of ideas, he said. Sadly, looking at the appointments made, it is hard to find any competent individual among them. Yes, all of them. Zero. Zero competency. All of them are zero. Every APC members, it is zero. All of them are a disaster. Disaster. It is hard to find any incompetent individuals among them. I truly feel for Nigerians. After weathering the storm under Buhari, look at what Nigeria has become. It is catastrophic. This government shows no compassion for the citizens at all. Though. They don't care. But him reaching out to Jonathan, I beg, he would not. And they should leave Jonathan alone. So if they call him a woman rapper, a woman in a man's body, that he doesn't know how to do this, he doesn't know how to do that. Even this same Tinobu was the one that called for him to step down at that time. So why would they go to him? He would not. Even if his ego would not allow him to go. So they should leave Jonathan alone now. He should enjoy with his family in peace. They should, leave, they should not bother him at all. Additionally, Allah Yoko lamented that rather than bringing in experienced technocrats from various fields, the president has surrounded himself with political allies. He suggested that unless in the book six guidance from seasoned political figures like Jonathan, the populace will continue to suffer under the burden of hardship. They should consider asking Dr. Gulag Jonathan for insight on how he managed to keep the Naira value at 200 Naira to the dollar before the APC took over. They need to reach out to him, he added. They will not be able to. Their ego, their pride will not allow them. And me, I even want them to leave this man alone. They should leave Jonathan out of this. They should figure it out. There are other people that they can talk to. They should bring in youth. They should bring people with intellectual minds because all of them, they are obviously old and they are not reasoning well again. Their brain is already downgrading, so they should call youth, people that have intellect. These are Gen Z, Gen um, Millennials. Talk to them. Maybe they will have good insights for you on how to fix the country, but no. Their pride will not allow them. They are old. They feel as if because they are old, they are the most wisest. They have all the knowledge. Meanwhile, you don't. You don't know how to run this country because it is going into shambles. Just how many years in and look at, we are even preferring Buhari's administration to your own because it has gotten really, really bad. Wala Roland said, this man you people said is a woman in a man's photo. Oh, can you reason the benefit of an educated leadership and that of forged certificates? You people should learn to respect education and be mindful how you challenge God's handwork at times. If we must move this country forward, we must stop giving power to drop out. Our National Assembly is made up of such. That is why they can't challenge some bad policies that will put the masses in a tight corner. So they prefer money to the masses' welfare. Yes, so education is not a scam. School is not a scam. These people, they, all of them, they are not educated. Even the ones that are claimed that they are educated among them, 
they either forge their certificate on or whatnot. So they don't really have insights. That school knowledge, that thing that they're changing in school, you can't buy it anywhere in the market. If you don't have it, you don't have it. So most of these politicians, they do not have it. They did not pass through school. So they don't understand. They don't know, they don't know anything. How, do, how then do we know who they are, if not by this? Hmm. Gregory Olia says, Inequity is the stock in trade of this APC-led administration of Tinubu. The end of the misery of Nigeria is not yet in sight. It is not though. It is looking very, very bleak. Except God decides to inter intervene in the situation of this country. I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. Eh? If you go to the embassy, now people want to leave by all means. By all means, because every day it keeps getting worse. It keeps getting harder. And these people do not care. They don't. Olushala says, Moto, who Jonathan? Is it not GEG of the Tuki Gate? The Azani Madweke with Shejafo? I be Jonathan has refinery. And Chineme is, is replying to Olushala says, Don't be biased. Corruption has eaten deep before GEG, but it was bringing prices of things down on a daily basis. If people are, has corrupted the country already, Corruption has already seen the even before Jonathan was there, but at least he had empathy. He, he, he felt the pain of Nigeria and he, he thought that, okay, let me bring down things, prices of things on a daily basis. Bring down the price of fuel, make the naira and dollar, the exchange rate was, was okay. Well, it, was, it was reasonable. He had empathy, he had hum, human feelings. At least he thought about the plight of the people. He put himself in our shoes. But these people, no, they don't care. They don't care if you die. They don't care if you don't eat, if you don't have food to eat. They do not care. All they are after is their own pockets. What they are after is what they would gather for their children and for their future. Vitalis Chikwe says, I never knew that tipping is a dollar until now. Yes, we also, when we ask for his wife results, his, his school results, someone that did not go to school. Somebody that did not know the name of the school he went to. Somebody that did not know that his colleagues that he went to school with. Even if we can't remember everybody, at least one or two, you should remember them that would be able to say that, okay, this person came to our school. He didn't have any, and yet people still voted for him. He's a dollar now. They don't know anything. They don't know how to move this country forward. If he had plans before he came in, saying that, Emiloko, Emiloko, I know what to do, I know what to do. If he actually knew what to do, then the country would have been getting better by now. But no, he doesn't know what to do. He just lied. He just rigged his way in. And now everybody is facing the trouble, the dilemma. I hope God really intervenes for us. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time.